Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the different folders of the JMeter. So, let's begin. In our previous session, we learned how we can download the JMeter from the official website and how we can actually run the JMeter on the Windows machine, right? And if you remember that, we downloaded a zip file and we extracted that file, okay? And after extracting the file, we got this folder, Apache dash jmeter dash 5.4 this is a root folder and this 5.4 basically is the version of the jmeter you downloaded okay now just uh, double click on this folder here and here we will see a uh, multiple folders okay we have backups we have bin docs extras lib licenses and printable docs now we will discuss each and every folder here okay the first one is a backup folder here. The purpose of this folder is to get the backup of your scripts. By default, you will not see this folder because this folder will be generated or created by the JMeter itself while you are working with the scripts itself. Okay, so the purpose of this folder is to take a backup of your scripts. If I open this one, you will see all my scripts which I worked on previously. So JMeter took a backup of these scripts here one more thing here to notice is that the extension of jmeter scripts is dot jmx okay now just go back to the main directory here and open this bin folder in this build folder you will find three subfolders examples report template and templates okay and beside these three folders you will find a uh, multiple files so here in this build folder you will find all the files to start the JMeter or if you want to stop or shut down the JMeter. Okay. Furthermore, if you want to set some configurations, you can also do it from here. You can change the properties file, JMeter properties file from here. If you want to set some user properties or system properties, you can do it from here. Okay. So all these files are related to how you want to start the JMeter. Okay. Now open this examples folder. And here you will see a CFCV example.jmx. Okay, this is an example for you. Okay, tomorrow if you want to use a CSV file, and if you don't know how to do it, just open this example in the JMeter and see how it works. Okay, now open this report template. So tomorrow, after execution, you want to share some report. Okay, and usually the best way is to share the HTML report. So this is a template. Just open this one and you can see. So this is how the HTML report look like. Here's the title, the source file, start time, end time, and some, if you find some errors, it will display errors here. Okay. Furthermore, it will create some charts. Even if you want to add some custom graphs, you can do that. It will not be created by default in the JMeter. You need to create this file after the execution. Okay. Now just go back to the folder here and go bin and open the templates. Okay. So what JMeter do for you is that they have created a predefined templates for you. Okay. So tomorrow if you want to work with the FTP test, okay. And you don't know how to start with, or if you want some template predefined template to start with, you can quickly use that one. Okay. Similarly, they have provided for the functional testing, JDBC, okay? So you can use that. You can use it from here as well as there's an option to use them from the UI of the JMeter as well, okay? Now again, just go back to the main directory here and open this docs folder. So basically here in this folder, you will find all the technical documentation of the JMeter, especially the APIs, okay? Just open this folder here and open this index file here and you will find all the documentation. This is a technical documentation and as you know that JMeter is developed using the Java, so all details are present in terms of the Java here. So if you know the Java, you can easily understand this one. Okay, now just go back here and open the extras. So usually extras folder is used for building up the JMeter. So if you, if you have worked with the Java, you need to compile your code. You need to create a build from it, right? So similarly here, 
JMeter needs to get built. Okay, so usually you find end here. Furthermore, if you want to build the JMeter with some add-ons, you can do that. So you will find all these files here in this extras folder. Okay. Now just open this library folder. Here you will find multiple libraries. Okay. Furthermore, you will also find two folders. One is called extension and other is called JUnit. If you open this extension, so there's a capability that if you want to use a third party plugins, okay, and there are so many available. So for that, you need to download those plugins and place those plugins here in this folder if you want to work with those. Okay, so this is for that purpose. Okay. Now this is a JUnit folder and this folder will only be utilized when you are working with the JUnit request type. Okay, so we will see in our upcoming sessions how we can use that folder. Okay, now go back to the library here. Just giving you example of these libraries first. These libraries are basically help you to work with your scripts. Okay. The example is that you have written a script and you want to assert that either you're getting the proper response or you're getting the proper response time or not. So in order to support your script, like you want to add assertions or maybe uh, you want to add a few more properties to your scripts. Okay. So all these are done using the libraries. Okay. So this is the purpose of this library folder. Okay. Now these licenses are basically the licenses of the third party things which are used by the JMeter. Okay. So these are all like they are using some fonts. They have some licenses for it. Maybe it's a free or maybe it's a, they might be paying for it, but most probably they are free, but licenses are required for that. Okay. Just like log4j. Okay. And if you go back here in the printable documents, this might be something interesting for you because it has, it contains the demos, you can use the user manuals. So from this folder, the best thing is that just open this index file and just go from this one here. You will find the tutorials here. You will find what you can do. Okay. You find each and everything here. Okay. So we were talking about the G unit. Just open this one and you can see how you can work with the JUnit. And if you see that JUnit test jar files are copied to JMeter slash library slash JUnit instead of JMeter slash library. So tomorrow if you want to work with the JUnit sampler, you need to place those files here. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you have learned something today. See you in the next lecture.